Could a fleet of cleaner buses in Jamaica change the way the world battles climate change forever? In this video, we are going to look at how Jamaica is turning heads with its ambitious plan to replace diesel buses with 100 compressed natural gas vehicles. We'll break down why this matters far beyond the island's shores, helping reduce pollution, improve public health, and push climate goals. From the technology to the bigger strategy, Jamaica's example challenges assumptions about who can lead the green revolution. Stick around to discover how public transit innovation could reshape our planet's future. To truly appreciate why Jamaica's bold transit upgrade matters, we need to understand the island's unique vulnerability to climate change. This Caribbean paradise, famous for its turquoise waters and lush mountains, is now facing severe environmental threats. Rising sea levels are slowly swallowing the coastlines where the majority of its population lives. Stronger and more frequent hurricanes batter the island's infrastructure, and extended drought periods strain its precious water resources. For a country where over 82% of people live within five miles of the shoreline, these aren't distant problems. They're urgent realities shaping everyday life. What makes Jamaica's situation even more poignant is that it contributes minimally to global greenhouse emissions, yet bears some of the harshest climate impacts. This injustice has driven the country to search for creative, scalable solutions to protect its people and economy. One critical focus area is public transportation, a major source of pollution in urban centers worldwide. And this is where Jamaica's pioneering plan to introduce cleaner, greener buses becomes truly groundbreaking. Jamaica's Bold Vision In August 2024, Prime Minister Andrew Holness revealed a transformational initiative that would redefine Jamaica's approach to sustainable transportation. The Jamaica Urban Transit Company, or JUTC, unveiled its largest single fleet acquisition ever, 100 brand new buses powered by compressed natural gas, or CNG. This wasn't just an upgrade in vehicles, it was a powerful statement about Jamaica's commitment to sustainability and climate resilience. So, why did Jamaica choose compressed natural gas? Unlike conventional diesel buses, CNG buses produce far fewer harmful emissions. They emit lower levels of nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, and particulate matter, pollutants that contribute to smog, respiratory illnesses, and environmental degradation. The cleaner burning fuel also delivers better fuel efficiency, allowing buses to travel longer distances with less fuel consumption, which translates to reduced operating costs over time. This combination of economic and environmental benefits made CNG an ideal choice for a country balancing climate ambitions with fiscal realities. But beyond numbers and specs, Jamaica's move signaled a broader vision. It was an effort to future-proof the country, aiming to reduce urban air pollution that affects thousands of residents while showcasing a replicable model for other island nations and developing countries. This was more than just a transit upgrade. It was a deliberate pivot towards sustainable urban development and climate action. Yet this initial batch of buses was only the first step in a much larger, more ambitious journey. By the middle of 2025, Jamaica's green bus revolution was gaining undeniable momentum. The JUTC fleet expanded with an additional 93 buses including 63 powered by compressed natural gas, cementing CNG as the cornerstone of the island's transit future. This expansion wasn't haphazard. It was a carefully crafted strategy designed to build a reliable, comfortable, and environmentally friendly transportation network for Jamaica's growing urban population. These buses are a far cry from the crowded, noisy, and polluting vehicles many commuters might expect. Each CNG bus features air suspension systems that smooth out the often bumpy Jamaican roads, providing passengers with a comfortable ride that encourages public transit use over private cars. Modern amenities like USB charging ports allow commuters to stay connected during their journeys, acknowledging the importance of technology in everyday life. Accessibility is another priority. Many of these buses have been retrofitted with ramps and features to accommodate passengers with disabilities, ensuring that no one is excluded from this transit revolution. The environmental benefits are equally striking. By shifting away from diesel, these buses significantly reduce the emission of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, as well as other dangerous pollutants like volatile organic compounds. Cleaner air directly improves public health, 
particularly in densely populated urban areas like Kingston and Montego Bay, where respiratory issues related to pollution are a growing concern. But the impact goes far beyond cleaner air and smoother rides. This is part of a much bigger strategic plan. Jamaica's decision to invest heavily in CNG buses fits into a wider framework of national climate goals, including the country's commitments under the Paris Agreement to drastically reduce carbon emissions and bolster resilience to climate impacts. The transportation sector is one of the largest contributors to Jamaica's greenhouse gas emissions, so decarbonizing it is a logical and necessary step toward achieving these targets. However, this initiative reflects a profound shift in how the government views climate change, not as a distant threat, but as an immediate challenge that requires bold, proactive solutions. Rather than waiting for external aid or simply reacting to climate disasters, Jamaica is taking control of its future by reshaping its infrastructure in ways that are sustainable, economically viable, and socially inclusive. The Green Bus Project also carries significant economic implications. By lowering dependence on expensive imported diesel fuel, Jamaica reduces its vulnerability to global oil price shocks, saving precious foreign exchange. It also generates local jobs in maintenance, fueling infrastructure, and operations, fueling a green economy that can grow alongside its environmental efforts. Moreover, Jamaica's success serves as a beacon for other developing nations, especially in the Global South. If this small island with limited resources can overhaul its transit system so effectively, it sends a powerful message to larger, more industrialized countries that ambitious climate solutions are within reach for everyone. But this is where Jamaica's story gets even more compelling, because the implications of this green transit transformation reach far beyond the Caribbean. Why should the West be watching Jamaica's transit revolution? Across much of the Western world, green public transportation initiatives often face steep hurdles, whether it's political gridlock, expensive infrastructure overhauls, or simply skepticism about feasibility. Yet while these debates drag on, Jamaica is quietly proving that a sustainable transit future is not only possible, but scalable and practical. For instance, one of the biggest challenges with adopting CNG buses is creating the fueling infrastructure necessary to support them. But Jamaica tackled this head-on by partnering with local and international companies to install a network of reliable, accessible fueling stations along key routes. This seamless transition ensured that commuters faced minimal disruption and the buses could operate efficiently without downtime. This pragmatic, hands-on approach challenges the widespread notion that cutting-edge green technologies are too complex or costly for developing nations. Jamaica is showing the world that with the right planning and partnerships, even countries with limited resources can leapfrog older, dirtier technologies and adopt cleaner alternatives. Consider this. While many major Western cities continue to grapple with aging diesel fleets and worsening air pollution, Jamaica is already cruising forward with modern, cleaner buses that are better for people and the planet. This sends a striking message that innovation doesn't have to be slowed by bureaucracy or scale. Now, here's where the story truly takes an inspiring turn. Jamaica's clean bus fleet is not an isolated initiative. It's just one pillar of a comprehensive nationwide climate resilience plan that's quietly reshaping the country's future. Beyond investing in compressed natural gas buses, the Jamaican government has embarked on ambitious reforestation projects designed to restore vital ecosystems and act as natural buffers against storms and flooding. These efforts aim to recover forest areas that absorb carbon dioxide and stabilize the soil, reducing landslide risks during heavy rains. Simultaneously, renewable energy projects are gaining traction across the island. Solar farms and wind energy installations are increasing Jamaica's energy independence while reducing reliance on fossil fuels. This green energy surge complements the sustainable transit efforts, creating a cleaner power grid that supports the new buses and other electrified infrastructure. Community education campaigns are another crucial piece of this puzzle. The government and NGOs are working hand in hand to raise awareness about climate change impacts and promote sustainable practices. From reducing waste to conserving water and supporting clean transportation. 
These grassroots efforts help foster a culture of environmental stewardship that ensures long-term resilience. Together, these interconnected programs form a holistic ecosystem of climate action, where cleaner transportation is one visible, moving part in a much larger picture of sustainable development and climate readiness. So, the buses you see on Jamaica's streets are more than just vehicles. They are symbols of hope and progress, representing a nation's determination to lead on the global stage despite limited resources. What makes Jamaica's approach truly remarkable is how it completely flips a common narrative about small island developing states. Traditionally, these nations are often seen as helpless victims of climate change, places that suffer greatly from its effects and rely heavily on financial aid and technical support from wealthier countries. However, Jamaica is challenging this perception by demonstrating that leadership, innovation, and bold climate action can emerge from anywhere, even from a small island with a population of less than 3 million people. This shift in mindset is crucial because it empowers smaller nations to take control of their own destinies and become drivers of change rather than passive recipients of aid. At the heart of Jamaica's pioneering effort is the Clean Bus Fleet Project, which has rapidly become a shining example for other countries facing similar environmental and economic challenges. This initiative is much more than just an upgrade to public transportation. It is a comprehensive investment in the future that combines environmental sustainability with economic growth. By adopting electric and cleaner technologies, Jamaica is actively reducing harmful emissions improving air quality, and setting a precedent for what climate resilience looks like in practice. The project showcases how smart investments, effective public-private partnerships, and a willingness to rethink conventional development models can lead to tangible, positive outcomes for both people and the planet. Perhaps the most surprising aspect of Jamaica's success story is how it contrasts with the ongoing debates in many wealthier nations. While these countries often stall or delay climate action due to concerns over costs, logistics, or political will, Jamaica has moved decisively and swiftly to implement its green transportation vision. Not only is the country transforming its own transit system, but it is also positioning itself as a regional leader in climate-smart infrastructure. This leadership is already inspiring neighboring Caribbean nations, many of which face similar climate threats, to explore and launch their own clean transportation projects. As a result, Jamaica's initiative is sparking a ripple effect that has the potential to reshape the entire Caribbean region's approach to climate resilience. This quiet but powerful revolution happening on Jamaica's roads offers more than just cleaner buses. It provides a hopeful blueprint for the world's fight against climate change. It shows that even small steps, like switching to clean public transport, can create lasting impact. Ultimately, Jamaica's journey reminds us that climate solutions don't have to come from the largest or richest countries. Instead, they can start anywhere, building momentum one bus ride at a time. To sum it up, Jamaica's introduction of 100 compressed natural gas buses is far more than a simple upgrade to its public transit system. It's a bold, visionary step toward a sustainable, climate-resilient future. This initiative challenges the idea that only wealthy countries can lead climate action, showing that meaningful, impactful change can begin anywhere, even on a small island fighting for its survival. If you found this story inspiring and eye-opening, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into innovative climate solutions from around the world. We wanna hear from you. How do you think public transportation can help your community fight climate change? Share your thoughts in the comments below.